Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm in the Fun Town RV facility over here in Indiana, right next to the manufacturer. This place is absolutely massive, but I have a truly unique floor plan. This is the 2024 Sandpiper 3800RK. So this is gonna be a rear kitchen, four slide fifth wheel with a laundry room a walk-in closet, and one of the largest bathrooms that you're gonna see in the RV market today. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all of that good stuff can be found down in the description of this video, along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, let me prove to you why I'm gonna be your best option. We got deals on wheels, baby. So, let's go ahead and get right into it, show you the inside first, and then we'll work our way around the outside, probably wrap this up in about 15 to 20 minutes. But again, it's the 2024 Sandpiper 3800 RK. And I believe this is actually gonna be the first look in the entire country. There's a little sneak peek of that laundry room. How freaking cool is that? And right when you walk in, man, large open areas because you have these dual opposing slides. So over here on this slide, you're gonna see you have a couch. Even though this is traditionally a couple's coach, don't worry, that is gonna be a trifold, so it folds out so you can sleep a couple extra folks. The slide height on this is absolutely incredible. Now I've got the old Dracula shades down, you know, the shades that keep the old skin from sizzling, but there are big open windows, you know, for a nice view. Again, that does flip out for additional sleeping. Pretty cool little, I don't even know what you call that, kind of a booth setup, bar top. It's got the waterfall cascading look right there with the power tower, but that'd be a great place to read a book, have some breakfast, play some cards, you know, a lot of good stuff going there. And then you have over here, one of the other slides in this kitchen, but this is gonna be a super slide. So you're gonna have really good tall head height, big lighting, massive windows for that natural, you know, kind of light to come in for you to really help kind of, you know, lighten the mood up in here. But take a look at that, absolutely huge. The panoramic windows, it says right there on that sticker. You're also gonna get massive, theater seating, which you're gonna notice you got four cup holders on that. So you can have drinks all over the place. Stainless steel, little nook right there where you can keep some of your remotes. And then you have a desk, all of which is gonna be on that flush mount slide. So again, I can't reiterate enough how much slide height is on that. It's absolutely fantastic. Unless you are a giant, you don't need to worry about bonking your head, you know, one bit. Now, since a lot of people are working on the road, it's becoming more popular every day now. You get traveling nurses all the time buying these RVs. You need a great place to sit down and work. Well, right here, you got a desk, six pull out drawers, another power tower station, which all you gotta do to open up that is you click down, pull it on up, and then bada bing, bada boom. Two outlets, two USBs, and a universal C charger. Now, with the TV being where it is, I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna see the TV from either side? Now, when you want, if it's just two of you or some guests, if you got guests, you can leave it where it is but this will actually pull out and it has a swing arm where you can pull it directly out and go a complete 180 degrees. So you can put it right there or you can flip it around to view it right here or leave it where it is so that way you can get a good view over here. So pretty nice and versatile. You're also gonna notice you do have storage up top with that nice kind of little decorative finish to it. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Good storage here up above. You're also gonna see you have the Connex sound bar with zones A, B, and C. So that's inside, outside, and both sides. So you can get bumping at the campground. Little DVD port, universal C auxiliary, everything that you need. And basically a super fancy space heater in the form of electric fireplace. So that has four different color modes. You're gonna have your white, your blue, your orange, and uh, red. So right there, and that's gonna put out 5,500 BTUs of heat. So in an RV this size, it'll really heat up the entirety of this room, absolutely no problem. You're also gonna notice on the Sandpiper line, you get a lot of head height. Now I'm six feet tall with average size arms, reaching all the way up to the sky here, and you can see I'm not even reaching it, so it's really nice head clearance there. You get a fan up on the roof, accent lighting as well, which is a big time plus. But take a look at that. I mean, that is pretty unique. I've been in a lot of campers in my day, and I have never seen that. Pair that up with another first, you know, having that, that laundry room is pretty darn incredible. It's definitely different. You haven't seen something like this yet, but you got your little spice rack right there, another window, and even this is on that soft close. So everything's gonna be on the soft close, which is super helpful. 
You got your refrigerator. It's going to be a residential style 12 volt, the Everchill, you know, which is really nice. It's going to be one of those smart, smart controls. So you saw how I did that. So you can control, you know, all your different, um, you know, temperature settings and all that. You got the safety latch right here that they thread in for an incredibly long time. Put that off to the side here. But look at that. Can't quite beat it. Now you're going to set it up on the sides, obviously, with all the drawers. This got pulled over from the manufacturer just so that way we could record it and kind of get it out there. Uh, but you can kind of get the vision. You're also going to get two pullouts right here as well for the freezer section. So one here and then one below. And that center part is partitioned off and you can remove that, you know, if you need. But one of the stars of the show, the rear kitchen, you know, it's going to be one of my favorites. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know I got a soft spot for rear kitchens. I think they're beautiful. I think they're functional. But adding in this top right here, you get a ton of countertop space, perfect for entertaining, you know, or just in general, kind of that foodie who wants to cook. So all the countertop space, farm style sink with the black stainless steel, looking as sharp as ever with a little roll up for the drying rack. And then you got a high rise faucet, whoosh, 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 hitting those dishes from all angles. You also get a nice window for viewing right out of the back, but you're going to see a ton of storage up and around this RV, which is just amazing to have. You can never have, you know, enough storage in this. So right there, you get a couple outlets, maybe pop this door off, put a Keurig, you know, a blender, whatever it is that you want to do. I won't open up all of these, but I'll give you a good idea here of what you're looking at. So that goes all the way across. And again, the window looks nice. They added that little decorative piece right there. So you got kind of that, that black glass kind of look there, just looking really sharp. Max air fan which is going to be located just above the oven, help you suck out the steam or the stink from whatever you're, keep, you're cooking. Keep that air flowing. And then you have your Furion microwave right there. You know, the microwave's a microwave, but it's got a couple good little uh, modes to it. Popcorn, potato, my favorite mode, the potato mode. Then you have your three stove top burner. And look at all that space right there. So you can cook up a couple, uh, you know, a couple chickens, a couple of DiGiorno, some cookies, whatever you want to rock. Now, the rep did tell me here in the corner, since this is their prototype model, they are going to go ahead and introduce a Lazy Susan right here in this corner. So if you do buy this, uh, that change will most likely have already happened. That's already in the works. It's already changed. A Lazy Susan will be right there in the corner. But for now on this one, you get the six pull-out drawers. One thing I love about this is here underneath, clean access to your plumbing. But then how cool is that? You can pull it out. Just a nice functional place to put your stuff and you're not bending over and going nuts, you know, just trying to grab it. And then right over here as well, two more pull-out drawers as well. And I love it, the fact that that is on the soft close too. It's just a nice little added touch. To the right of the oven, three more pull-out drawers. Top one's going to be a little bit smaller. The bottom two are going to be much larger and much deeper. That's the view that you're going to get here from the old captain's chair looking at the TV. The accent lighting there up above, again, shining like justice, looking beautiful. But now let's go show you where things get, get pretty crazy. Before we do that, right inside this door, access to that laundry room. But this is going to be your control center. So all of your slides, you know, your awning, black one, gray one, all that good stuff, hall lights, heated holding tanks, that way you can use this a little deeper, a little bit longer, a little bit earlier into the season. So that's a nice plus to have. This is going to be the control for your fan there as well. So right when you walk in the door, this is going to be the first thing that you're going to see. And check this out. This is an RV industry first, as far as I know. An actual dedicated washroom. So this is cool. Instead of adding in you know, a half bath back here. They went ahead and made it a laundry room to, again, kind of help out with, you know, kind of the couple's theme. And then if you have pets too, it's also pretty versatile to where, you know, if you have a dog or some cats or whatever, you open that up, you got water and food, a little place to maybe put, you know, some of the food in there as well, but just a really cool room. And then a place where you can hang up, you know, maybe like a mop, you know, or a vacuum, something like that. It just really helps out with the traveling RV couple that's on the road. Good storage here up above too. And I'm six feet tall. It goes from about the tippy of my fingers to about my elbow right there. Heading up into the bedroom. I love this bathroom and closet combo. It doesn't get much better. But also notice all of the floor space, all the walking space right here. Because you have a slide out here on the right with your dresser, a window, and a place for a TV. 
And then also an east to west bed slide there as well with three windows there too. And you're also gonna notice you get a couple extra ledges and then you get a place where you can plug in, you know, whatever you want. You got outlets over here, another little nook right there, a king bed, 72 by 80. So comfortable, spacious, everything that you'd want for home on the road. This is gonna be the control for the heat and the AC, you know, right here, conveniently placed. And then again, you can hook up your TV. You got the appropriate hookups with multiple outlets, satellite out, antenna, cable TV hookups. And then you also got plenty of extra drawers right here. Top three are all gonna be this size. Bottom three are all gonna be that size. So love seeing that. But this is where I think this thing is gonna make its money. Outside of that laundry room, this is truly awesome. You see those big old doors right there? A true walk-in closet. But before we get there, beautiful, you know, kind of couple sinks, plenty of storage, plenty of countertop space. You got a mirror right here where you can show off the old bowling gun baby. And then you also got accent lighting there underneath. Again, a nice ambient glow in the middle of the night. If you want to brush your teeth or wash your face or kind of just go to the bathroom in general, you don't have to turn on all the lights. You can just turn on the accent lighting. So I like seeing that. Outlets on both sides. Another Max Air Fent, again, is going to be right here underneath the sink and both sides are going to be the same again clean cut storage with access to your plumbing and then top two like this bottom one i like it that the old porcelain foot flush throne so even if you're a round belly like myself you can sit down be comfortable not worrying about one of those you know other kind of plastic toilets you know where things feel a little bit flimsy you got the octopus doodads just waiting for you know a towel to be hung up looking all friendly and then you have a one piece fiberglass shower. So I like that less maintenance, less things to worry about. It's also big and it has the tri-glide glass series that opens up just a little bit wider. So that way you can have, you know, more room in general. So I'm standing in it, I'm six feet tall. You got your head here in the sunroof a little bit. So if you're shorter than that, it only gets better. But as far as space is concerned, I'm a big old guy. I'm six foot, 300 pounds, and I fit in here just fine. You also have a little seat right there. So if you want to sit down, let the hot water hit you, or maybe just prop a leg up and shave your legs, you know, you're easy, uh, easy access to do that. Some cubbies for all your towels, maybe some linens or some extra stuff. And then here's the old Narnia closet. You walk into here, this is awesome. This is designed for that couple that wants extra space. You can get dressed right in here. I mean, heck, you can make this a video gaming room, an office, all sorts of things. Who knows? But look at all those hanging clothes right there. Even a couple other places. They didn't waste that space. Added in some extra cubbies. And then you got obviously this back area right here where you can put, you know, all sorts of good stuff. Your King Wi-Fi. So that's going to be good. Get yourself some like 5G network in there. Call up AT&T or Verizon or something. Get that activated. But man, I love this closet. But I think that about wraps it up here for the interior portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 Sandpiper. 3800 RK. This is an amazing rear kitchen fifth wheel, four slides, all the works. And again, all of the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will all be down in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out if that's something that you're interested in. So now we're heading around on the outside. Again, the 2024 Sandpiper 3800RK, you're gonna notice a couple things right off the bat. One, you got dual awnings. So you have two absolutely massive awnings, LED lights here up underneath. You see those blue glowing dots? That's for your marine grade outside speakers. You're also gonna get your six point auto leveling, which is a really nice feature to have. Propane here behind this door. And then you got, look at that. A couple outlets for outdoor entertainment. You got your battery disconnect. It looks like, if I'm not mistaken, yep, welded on both sides here of the frame. And you got that aluminum foil wrapping it up, just helping with that insulation. But it's also no exposed wood. So it's just a clean cut appearance, looking really sharp there. Outside, kind of little uh, apple juice cooler right there. Fit yourself a 24 pack of those bad boys in it. You also got the step above steps, those entry steps that flip up into the door, a little bit more sturdy for the weather.
dual axle. And then here heading up the back, you see that little black bar? That's so you can hook up a barbecue. And it's uh, like a barbecue grill, one of those little Webers or something like that. But you're also gonna see that you have the LP Quick Connect to go with it, so it does tie in uh, to the, it does tie into the propane. Up on the back, you've got the Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So hook up into that, it's a fully walkable roof. Check your seals, check your slides. You can get on there no problem. That'll run you probably about 300 bucks or so from the Lippert website. And then you also have a camera system right there, the Furion backup camera. Gives you about a four and a half inch screen. You can suction cup it onto your windshield so you can see what's going on behind you, you know, with distance markers as well, you know, which is a big time plus. Dump valve. These slides are eligible over here on this side for slide toppers. Slide toppers are nice because it mitigates the risk of when you're camping about having a leak. So if you imagine a tree on top of here, a tree branch falls on top of the slide, you push it in, it pops that seal, you never knew, that's where you get leaks coming in from the slide. So either get on top, check your slides every time you go camping when you're in a, you know, an area where something could happen, or you kind of pay to play and just get a slide topper and forget about it. And I'm thinking, I might have misspoke, I think it's a four point auto level, so I do apologize for that. So right here, this is gonna be where you plug in your camper. You got your 50 amp power connection. The other dump valve, fresh water drain. And then the back end here of that pass through storage. And again, check out how awesome that is. That is just a ton of space, a lot going on. There's your electric uh, leveling controls. And then you got your, amp your solar amp controller uh, right there as well. So you can check and see what the solar is doing, what kind of amperage you're getting. You know, power up, things like you know, the lights or that refrigerator. Back end of the Furion on-demand hot water heater, which is always a plus. And then you got your docking station. So you got your different black tank, gray tank valves, you know, water filter, hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower. And then your black tank flush, which is basically a fancy sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Little specifications of Rooney's. Overall GVWR, 15,500 pounds. This isn't a light one, but it's not overly heavy. And then right here, you got additional storage, a spare tire, and a battery box. But all right, guys. Oh, forgot to point out. Right here, you're also set up for the camera system, the three camera safety system. So you can put a backup camera or a side mounted camera here and on the other front. So when you're driving down the road, you know, you get that view as well to help mitigate, you know, some of those, some of those blind spots. But my name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let Funtown RV know how I did. This is the 2024 Sandpiper 3800RK. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. See ya.